Voices of 2020 series, where we get to know just for a few minutes some of the great seniors that are graduating from Chesapeake Public Schools uh, very, very soon. Well, the actual, I guess, graduating um, with uh, the senior celebrations taking place. Uh, and with me is Azaria Bolton from Great Bridge High School. Uh, Azaria, thank you for taking your time to be here today. What, um, not exactly the senior year you expected, huh? Definitely not, but you know, working through it. <laughs> Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, you don't have a whole lot of choice, I guess. What's been the hardest thing for you about uh, about dealing with this? Probably the fact that I can't really see any of my friends, considering this is like senior year. It's the time where like you want to spend as much time with them before you end up going off to college and all going your separate right ways. So having that cut super short is pretty challenging. <laughs> How are you managing to stay in touch with them? Uh, have you been able to stay in touch with most of them or all of them? Oh, yeah, of course. Um, I've been staying in touch through texting them, a lot of FaceTime calls, mm. a lot of just um, constant communication and, like, constant updates to what we're doing. And, you know, we're all working through this whole entire situation together. Yeah. Uh, everybody has, has said that uh, times like this, we often grow somehow or, we learn something uh, either about ourselves or about how we operate. Uh, has that been the case for you? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I've grown through this coronavirus epidemic because, you know, um, in college and like just in life, things are going to happen unexpectedly that can completely change all of your plans. So having this experience in a time where you're not just like on your own and you do have people to help you work through it has been really, really helpful to like transition and to allow kind of like practice for like what the real world is actually going to be like. So in that way, it's, you know, really good. <laughs> what do you what do you like the best about high school? What are you going to miss the most? <sighs> I'm <laughs> I'm definitely going to miss the fun you know spirit and you getting close with pretty much everybody inside of your class especially coming from great bridge high school you know our graduating class is 300 something people so you know you can pretty much know everybody around you keep tabs on everybody and really feel like a family so i'm definitely going to miss that like family aspect of high school yeah yeah so what's next where are you headed uh in the fall i'm going to be going to the University of Virginia in their College of Engineering with a probable um, bachelor's degree in chemical engineering. Wow, man. So organic chemistry, bless you. <laughs> <That's a tough laughs> oh, one. I can't wait. <laughs> really? So what are you looking forward to most about college? I'm looking forward to the independence and the freedom to grow as a person myself. Um, it's definitely something that I've been looking forward to for a while now. <laughs> so what's your, what are you passionate about? What brings you joy? So probably one of my biggest passions is knowing that I helped somebody and just that I made a difference in somebody's life. So no matter what I'm doing, I'm always chasing, getting everybody to feel, whether it's like them feeling better about their day or doing something that I know will be beneficial to them either now or in the future. So that's something that I work towards every single day and brings me crazy amounts of joy. That's great, man, that is great. So what, uh, what does Azaria's life look like when she's 25? When I'm 25, hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> if everything works out fine, um, I'll be just right out of college. I'm gonna be um, in a job, hopefully, either like in a pharmaceutical company making medicine or working in the environment, like being an environmental engineer and trying to make a difference in some of the systems that we're using at the moment that are ruining the environment. Hopefully working towards making those better. One of those two paths, but right. yeah. Wow. Either one would be great. What, uh, what advice would you have for your fellow uh, 2020 graduates? For my fellow 2020 graduates, 
uh, the only advice that I would have is just to be strong in the middle, in the midst of all of this um, epidemic and know that it's going to be over eventually and we will be able to still see each other and college is still happening and everything is going to be okay. Wow, that's great. It, it has been a real pleasure talking to you, Azari. I wish you all the best. You, uh, with that energy you have and, and the passion, I think you're going to do great things. Uh, so thank you so much. Thank you very much for your time. Go Wildcats.